You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Street. Bus driver? Yes, sir. There's a restaurant I've seen, a buffet. Ah, there are lots of restaurants along here. Carolyn's Country Kitchen, I believe it's called, with the chicken special. Oh, yeah, yeah, corner of 17th. That way you want off. Indeed, I've been looking forward to trying it. All you can eat, I understand. Oh, knock yourself out. Oh, I shall, I assure you, I shall. Next stop, 17. 17. Here you go. Hey, watch your step. Yeah, oh, oh, wait a minute. Yes? Well, when you got on, did you ever give me that transfer? Most certainly. There was such a crowd, but I finally found it. Remember? Oh, uh, yeah. If you say so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have a nice night. I shall. Here's your check. Ah, yes, the check. Get you anything else? Another glass of iced tea, perhaps. Refills are free of charge, I presume. Nadine will get it for you. I'm off the clock now. And pay up front. Certainly. Oh, miss. Yeah? Might I trouble you for one more plate of your delicious fried chicken? That makes three. Your policy is all you can eat, is it not? <sighs> Another chicken platter coming up. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Nolan. Oh, don't mention it, Bernice. Hey, see you Saturday for the baby back ribs. You take care now. Enjoy your meal, sir. Very much. I couldn't eat another bite. That's nice. Cash or charge? Oh, cash, of course. I don't believe in credit cards. All that interest. I know what you mean. That'll be... Oh, my. Something wrong. What a bother. Do you know what's happened? Why don't you tell me? My wife borrowed from my wallet and forgot to leave anything for me. Hm. Will you take a check? Like it says on the sign, no checks. Yes, yes, I see. Well, not to worry. My name is, um, James Brocklehurst. I'm with the Plyo Film Corporation. Perhaps you've heard of it. Here, let me give you my business card, if I can find one. Card won't do me any good. Oh, my. Most embarrassing for me as well as for yourself. In that case, I insist on returning tomorrow evening to reimburse you in full. Uh, would you move it, pal? I gotta pay and get home. Uh, of course. Tomorrow evening, then, at this exact hour. I'll include a generous tip as well. Thank you for your kind understanding. Hey! Thank you. What's the matter with that guy? I'm not sure, but I think he just stiffed me. Meet Mr. Luther Aorta. A normal enough man, at least in his own mind. Like so many people, he enjoys getting something for nothing. But for him, it has become an obsession and a way of life. So it isn't surprising that he's attracted by words like all you can eat and no limit and, best of all, free. That's the magic syllable. It does strange and wonderful things to the metabolism. In fact, it's his whole reason for living. Unfortunately, Mr. Aorta is about to discover that such signs don't necessarily tell the truth. Because, though the offer in question may be free, 
It sometimes comes with a one-way ticket to the Twilight Zone. And now, The Twilight Zone and our story, Free Dirt, starring Eric Bogosian, with Stacy Keach as your narrator. Luther? Hmm? Luther, I'm talking to you. Yes, dear. Breakfast is ready. Good, good. If you want yours, you'll have to get that junk off the table. Oh, but it isn't junk, dear. I found several good coupons in this morning's paper. You and your coupons. Samples for the cost of a postage stamp. We can get new packets of seeds absolutely free. Seeds? You've got a hundred packages of those things already. Yes, dear, I know, but these are special. I'll bet. They are. Look. Would you clear off the table, please? From the largest seed company in the U.S., free peaches, free cucumbers, free asparagus, and free ranunculus. Can you just taste them? What are you going to do, eat the seeds in a bowl with milk? Of course not. I'm going to plant them. Oh, you are. Where? In the backyard. They'll make a lovely garden. I hate to disappoint you, but plants need something our yard doesn't have. And what's that, dear? Dirt. Dirt? Topsoil, loam. There's nothing but rocks out there. Yes, you're right. But don't worry. I'll find some fresh dirt and bring it home. From where? That may require some thought. Just a minute. Hmm? Breakfast first? Oh, yes. Breakfast. You drive me to work today, remember? Of course. Sit down and eat. I'm going to be late. I was just thinking about the dirt. Where were you last night, anyway? I rode the bus into town. Some things I had to take care of. The bus, huh? I'm surprised you were willing to pay the fare. Cheaper than the cost of gas nowadays. It worked out very well, actually. Did you eat anything? To be sure, I found something on the way. <laughs> a bargain, no doubt. Quite a remarkable one, in fact. You would have been proud of me. I hope so. Where does one go to get dirt, I wonder? Oh, Luther. A quarry would have some, but they'd probably charge a lot of money. Finish your eggs. I'm late as it is. Just cleaning my plate. It's a crime to waste food. Let's see now. Nothing on the way home but offices, real estate companies. Perhaps the nursery. No, packaged soil would cost a fortune. Oh well, have to give this some serious consideration. Or double your money back. Hmm? That's right. If you're not 100% satisfied with your new Ellison steam cleaner, return it to the factory and get double your money back. Call toll-free today or write the Ellison Company, Box 403, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And now, back to music for your morning commute. Box 403, Box 403, where's a pencil? Wait a minute! I don't believe my eyes. Free dirt apply within. Within where? Uh, of course, Lilyvale Cemetery. Where better to go for rich parturient soil? Hello? Hello, anyone? Anyone at all? Guess not. Help you, sir? Oh, 
I didn't see you there, so many tombstones. Getting crowded. What can we do for you? Well, now maybe it's what I can do for you. Ain't gonna sell me nothing. This is a poor place. Not enough customers, if you know what I mean. No, 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 no. I'm not selling anything. That isn't it at all. I was driving by, and I saw the sign. You're offering free dirt. Yep. Left over from the grave digging. Well, I'm here to take some of that dirt off your hands. If there's any left, that is. Oh, there's plenty, all right. It builds up. And it's free, you say? No strings. Free as a bird. How much may one have? Much as you want. On what days? Any day there's some fresh, but you gotta do the haul on yourself. You couldn't do that for me. Can't. If I was to leave, there wouldn't be nobody alive left here, would there? <laughs> Anyways, I don't have a truck. You? No, but I might be able to borrow one. Now, if you don't mind, may I see the dirt? Even it out now. I want to get as much as possible in one load. Okay, mister. Otherwise, I'll have to pay you for two trips. Relax. We're getting it all. Nice truck. It will do. Where'd you get it? My neighbor, Mr. Santucci. I promised to share the bounty with him. Bounty? The fruits of my labor. It's a long story. Good thing your grave diggers were here. Always looking for extra work. Dig it up or shovel it someplace else. Same difference. You're sure you don't mind my taking it all? Glad to be rid of it. Well, it certainly does look like good soil. One should be able to grow anything in that. Ought to. Been fertilized enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose it has. All right, gentlemen, that's the last of it. I'll meet you at the house. Thank you, my good man. You've made my day. Don't mention it. Good dirt, I guess. For some people. Uh, me? I don't like the touch of it. Setting out here all week and it's still damp. I don't even like the look of it. Sure it came out of new ground? No old graves underneath? Hard to say. The plots are pretty close together. Well, don't tell that aorta guy. Yeah, probably gonna make mud pies out of it. <laughs> I'd as soon not know. Just be sure he pays you. That's about it. Good, very good. You've distributed it perfectly. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. Real beautiful. I'll set to work while it's still moist. You want to pay us now? Now? That's the general idea. Oh, dear me, no. That wouldn't do at all. Uh, for income tax purposes, I'll have to ask you to send a bill. A bill? Don't know the address here. Not here. My office. The Magnetic Cartridge Corporation, 163 Fairmont. Yes, that's it. I'll jot it down for you. Fairmont, huh? What part of the city is that in? The far side. Now, if you'll put the wheelbarrow and shovels in my car, I'll drive you back to Lilyvale. Just give me a moment. I can hardly wait. Peas, carrots, tomatoes, onions, squash, rutabaga, turnips, lettuce, corn, watermelon, and ranunculus. What a harvest this is going to be. I wonder what will come up first. 
Let's start with this one. What are you doing, Mr. Aorta? Good afternoon, Mrs. Santucci. I'm planting my very own garden. Where'd the dirt come from? The graveyard. But it's wonderful dirt, really. Make sure you get the truck clean. My husband don't like no dirt in it. Oh, I will, completely. And do thank him for me. Hmm. Graveyard, huh? Yes, just look how nice and moist it is. Reach over the fence and hold out your hand. See? Positively brimming with life. That what you call it? Think of the things that will grow out of this mulch, and all of it positively free. You can have it. Feels funny. And the color ain't right. Oh, it's splendid, I assure you. Excuse me, I have to drive the workmen. I'll hose the truck off soon as I get back. Good as new! Yuck. It even smells funny. Now I gotta wash my hands. Don't know what it is, but something about that dirt just ain't right. And parsley, and watercress, and zucchini, and sweet potatoes. Yes. And cabbage, and string beans, and even red peppers. Oh, what a succulent harvest this will be. There, there, let the soil do its magic. For now, my precious seeds, prepare to deliver your wonders. See. Early? Or late? What time's it getting to be anyway? You were supposed to pick me up from work, or didn't you remember? Oh no, I'm sorry, dear. Truly I am. But you see, I've been out here all afternoon, working my fingers to the bone. Doing what? Gardening. Isn't it magnificent? I've marked each variety with twine. I've even dug a small drainage ditch between the rows, so the water can run off. And do you know what I did today? I had to take a cab all the way home because my husband forgot I was alive. It slipped his mind. A thousand apologies, dear. It won't happen again. You bet it won't. This is the last time I let you have the car. And from now on, you can take the bus every day. Myrtle, dear, may I ask one question? No. What's for dinner tonight? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Open a can. Hmm? Ah. What? Luther? Go back to sleep, dear. What in the world? Just opening the window a crack. What for? Ventilation. Smell that. Come back to bed. It's three o'clock in the morning. I know, I know, but I simply had to get a good whiff. Isn't the night air delicious? Like it's alive. Oh, crazy man. Listen. You can almost hear the little seeds reaching up from the earth, trying to be born.
Myrtle! Didn't you hear me? I heard you. Come! Why? You won't believe it! What is the matter with you? I've got to show you something. I have to be at the office in 20 minutes. Let go of my arm. Look! Where did all these plants come from? Where do you think? I planted the seeds yesterday. Now look at them. That's ridiculous. You got up early, drove to the nursery, and brought them back here somehow. Don't you be ridiculous. The squash, the beans. Do you realize what a miracle this is? You plant something and it grows. That's no kind of miracle. In one night? Use your eyes, woman. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. It's impossible. It's not possible, is it? Luther, if you did this to impress me, it's... No, I swear to you. All this happened in 24 hours. Less than that. Look at these cucumbers. Delicious. Delicious. Look, I haven't got time for you. I'm late enough. Try a carrot. Take a bite. Just one little bite. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like it? Are you kidding? Why? What's wrong with it? Mm, it tastes like ugh, dirt. This is Luther Aorta. Send a news truck over at once. I've got something big to show you. Pardon? 1217 Sunnyview Lane. Someone has to take pictures of this. People won't believe it if they don't see it with their own eyes. Has there been an accident, sir? Not an accident. Something glorious, stupendous, something positively not of this world. Well? It's a nice garden, I'll give you that. Yeah, same here. But I don't see anything unusual about it. I told you, the seeds were planted only yesterday. It all came up overnight. Is that a fact? Ask my wife. She'll tell you as soon as she gets home. Mr. Aorta, we appreciate your call, but we're a television station, not the university. Do you see the size of it? Well, it looks exactly like what it is. A vegetable garden in someone's backyard. Bigger than most, but that isn't really news. So you're not interested in miracles? Only the ones that can be proved. All right, then. I'll prove it to you. And how will you do that? I'll rip out all of these plants and do it again. You can see for yourself tomorrow. Would that be proof? Yes, sir. That would be proof. Assuming there was documentation. Footage of you doing it and the results. And that would mean cameras around the clock. And unfortunately, that's just not in our budget. We have other stories to cover. I'm sure you understand. Now, if you'll excuse us. But think what a breakthrough this is. Food for the world, instantly. That would be a miracle. Would? It already is. Then how do you explain it? I can't, but it's happened. Well, looks like it's been happening for a while. What do you mean? Well, these leaves, they're already turning black around the edges. They can't be. I'm afraid so. They've reached their maturity. Now they're going to seed. Then I'll plant some more. You do that. And when you do, give us a call. I will. I'll get right on it. You can count on me. I'm sure we can. Bye now, Mr. A. A-O-R-T-A. -A. Straight from the heart. I've seen some nutcases before, but this one is the king. Could have saved us a trip if he told us the whole story in the first place. Make sure he does the next time. 
Uh, think he'll call again? <laughs> you know it. But I hope we're out on a real story when he does. <laughs> <laughs> Now get that head of lettuce there on the end. Pull. Got it. Looks like it's six months old. It's rotting already. You believe me, don't you, Mr. Santucci? I wouldn't, except my wife saw you planting the seeds. Yes, she stood right where you are, leaning over the fence. I'll tell you flat out, I've never seen anything like it in my whole life, and I was brought up on a farm. It just don't make sense. It must have been the dirt. Could be. Can't think of anything else. Made a nice layer of topsoil. Now it's all sucked clean. You need some more fertilizer. I wouldn't know what kind to get. Unless... There is plenty more where this came from. That's what the caretaker said. Might work. Might not. I'll tell you one thing, though. I wouldn't be caught dead eating any of this stuff. It ain't normal. That's the point. It isn't. It grew so thick, ripened so fast. Sell it to the college, maybe. That's an idea. Or the agriculture department. Could be you come up with something brand new. Yes, yes. Maybe I have. I'll call them first thing in the morning. But for now, I'd better spread some fresh dirt. Mr. Santucci, what are you doing tonight? Why do you ask? I was thinking we could go back and get some more in your truck. Uh, I don't know. If it works, we might even get a patent out of it. At least the Guinness Book of World Records. Partners. What do you say? Where did it come from? Not far. We can be back before dinner. Don't worry, we'll be fine. It's only a cemetery. Never liked cemeteries. It won't take long. The caretaker's shack is just ahead. Late for dinner and the missus will kill me. We'll be in and out in no time. You'll see. Sure got dark fast. It's the trees and the statues. Here we are. Hello? Hello? Maybe we should come back. Nonsense. It has to be now, while the plants can be revived. Well, it's my truck, and I say we get gone. There's nothing but dead folks here. Then no one should object if we drive on in. Help you, fellas? Hey! Don't go creeping up on people like that. Sorry, mister. Not many visitors this time of day. Is that you, Mr. A? Yes, I wanted to ask you. How'd that free dirt work out? Very well. I was wondering if you could spare a little more. I guess so. Planted a fresh one this morning. A fresh what? New man for the sod Sheraton. <laughs> Got his bed turned down and everything. Good, good. Then we'll bring the truck in if you don't mind. Better watch those tires. Hit a sinkhole and you're stuck for the night. No triple A. Of course, of course. Thank you, my good man. You don't know what this means to me. Hope you brought a flashlight. They like it nice and dark out here. Uh, come on, Aorta. Let's get this fool thing done. Coming! Your dinner's cold. Be right there, I said. That's it. I'm going inside. But we're almost done. One more wheelbarrow full, and the whole garden will be covered. Well, it's your yard. You finish it. Don't know why I let you talk me into this in the first place. Think of the publicity. Our pictures in the paper. Two neighbors who can feed the world. Lots of luck, pal. I gotta take a shower to get this stink off me. There. A new layer spread out. Nice and even. That ought to do it. Myrtle! Myrtle, where are you?
What are you doing with the suitcase? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting out. But why? Don't try to stop me, Luther. And I'm taking the car. You can just fend for yourself. I think I deserve an explanation. Oh, you do. Take a guess. I can't stand living with you anymore. Like Mrs. Santucci says, you're a loony. Do this and you'll be sorry. Are you threatening me? No, no. But those plants, they might be worth a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, in your dreams. Keep away from me. Tomorrow I'm going to have someone from the university come over and take a look. They're worth a fortune. Mr. Santucci agrees. <laughs> they might be worth nothing. That's what they might be worth. You know why? Because they're as loony as you are. That's not true. They're a miracle of horticulture. Then if you know what's good for you, you'll eat those miracles, because there isn't anything else in the house. Do your own shopping. I've had it. <sighs> She'll be back. Just you watch. She's right about one thing, though. The refrigerator's as good as empty. And the cupboard was bare. Oh, well. I've got my vegetables, ripe and ready to eat. Where's the laundry basket? I'll fill it up and dine like a king. Squash, eggplants as big as your head. So what if they're a little ripe? Fabulous, fabulous. Waste not, want not. <sighs> Looks like I'm going to be a vegan for a while. Well, so be it. Tonight the vegetables, tomorrow the world. Boiled, sautéed, any way at all. How about a nice hearty soup and a casserole? Potatoes au gratin, yes. A little salt and pepper, a few spices, and voila. Luther Aorta's Blue Plate Special, coming up. some condiments. Catsup. Worcestershire, a touch of brown mustard. You gorgeous turnip, you. Now, something to wash it down. Ah, I'm still not full. Something more to fill the hole. Let me see what's left. Can't leave anything to waste. Who's there? That you, Arnie? Who's in my backyard? The cat. Or raccoons. Come to steal by the light of the moon. Well, I will not have it. Get away! Go on, scat! What? Where did this come from? 
Somebody's dug a hole. A deep one. Someone or something. About six feet. But how... Whoa! <laughs> Felt like something tripped me. But what? Gotta climb out. This is ridiculous. Can't get hold of a thing. Stop it! Stop pushing the rotten vegetables in! Who's doing this? What are you trying to do? Bury me? Stop! I tell you! Let me out! So, what do you think it was? What? Last night. Didn't you hear it? I didn't hear nothing. Well, I did. All night long. Like something digging uh, with their hands, only... Only what? Not exactly digging. Chewing is more like it. Do you think some animals got into that crazy man's backyard? Who cares? More there than he can eat. <laughs> Don't be so sure. He's got some belly on him. Soon as the next crop comes in, I get my pick. A miracle, he says. We better make some money out of it. My back's killing me. Oh, there he is now. That ain't him. It was him. I could tell. Go out and look. Look for what? The loony. See what he's up to. You go. You. <sighs> All right, Ida. If that'll make you happy. all the rotten stuff. He cleaned them up pretty good. Hey, order? Hey, hey, order! You all right in there? Hey, what did you do with the old vegetables? Hey, are you... Oh, jeez. What happened? You okay, buddy? Wake up! What's wrong with him? I don't know. He was just laying here. Take his pulse. Oh, he's dead. Turn him over. Oh, poor guy. Sure got a gut on him. Bigger than ever. What's that stuff around his mouth? Looks like dirt. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Don't you get it, Arnie? The whole yard's empty. And you know what he did with it. He ate himself to death. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> End of a very strange incident in the annals of home gardening. Whether Mr. Aorta finally climbed out of that hole or ate his way out doesn't really matter. But an autopsy found several pounds of dirt and nothing else in his bloated stomach. And Mr. Santucci, his unwitting partner, slept very little that night, waiting for the next deadly crop to appear. Like Mr. Aorta, he began to wonder if there are some things, free or not, that are best left to the Twilight Zone.
Hi, this is Carl Amari, producer of the Twilight Zone radio dramas. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our official website at twilightzoneradio.com, where you'll get the latest news and information on these Twilight Zone radio dramas. Plus, at twilightzoneradio.com, you can digitally download three free episodes or any of our episodes for only $1.95 each. In this age of ever-changing technology, we've decided to make these episodes instantly available to you by making the Twilight Zone radio dramas a digital download-only series. This means that this series will no longer be offered on CD. The CD collections at our website are now being offered while supplies last at buy one, get one free. So be sure to get your favorites before they're sold out. Be sure to visit us often, and I'll see you in the zone. Free Dirt, starring Eric Bogosian with Stacey Keach as your narrator, was adapted for radio by Dennis Etcherson and written for The Twilight Zone by Charles Beaumont. Heard in the cast were Meg Falcon, Roderick Peoples, Linda Reiter, David Darlow, Elizabeth Lido, Roger Mueller, Amber Lake, Jeff Lupiton, Doug James, Karen Olson, Dana Bokor, and Carl Amari. This copyrighted radio series is produced and directed by Carl Amari for Falcon Picture Group. Sound design and custom Foley effects for the Twilight Zone by Cerny American creatives Bob Benson, Craig Lee, Michael Slabach, and Matt Sorrow. To learn more about the Twilight Zone radio dramas and to contact us, visit our official website at twilightzoneradio.com. Doug James speaking.